Lesson 10.5, areas of circles and sectors. Now the area formula for a circle is pi r squared. Okay, and now the new idea that we're covering today is a sector. All right, of a circle is a portion of a circle's area. All right, it's like a piece of a pie. All right, so it is the region bounded by two radii and their intercepted arc. All right. So in this diagram, we have the intercepted arc AB, and we have radii AP and BP, and we call this sector APB. All righty. Now we're going to go about deriving the area of a sector formula. OK. So we have the area of a sector, all right? And in this case, this sector is half of a circle. So essentially, it's half the area formula for a circle, half pi r squared. And then we have the total area of a circle, which is pi r squared. What happens? The pi r squares cancel out. We're left with a half. All right, here we have a quarter of a circle. So we would take the area of a formula circle and multiply it by pi r squared, one-fourth, all right, that's a quarter. And we put that over the total area, which is pi r squared. Those cancel out, we're left with one-fourth. Then we have three-quarters of a circle. So that's three-fourths the area of a circle. Three-fourths pi r squared over pi r squared. And what do we get? Three-fourths. All right, so it's very similar to the previous lesson, right? Except this time we're talking about the area of a sector instead of arc length. See the pattern emerging here? All right, so here we have the measurement of a sector. Well, what's the measurement of this sector arc? That's 180. And what's the total measure going all the way around? 360. So we get 1 half, and we simplify that. Here we have 90, since it's a quarter of a circle. Should have a little 90 degree angle there. All right, then we have 90 over 360, which is 1 fourth. Then here we have three quarters of a circle, so that's 90, 180, 270. And then over the measure of the whole circle, 360. So that gives us three fourths. All right, so you notice now that these values that we get are equal to each other. So that means we could set these two expressions on top equal to each other, and we have ourselves a new formula for figuring out the area of a sector. All right, so to answer the bottom question here, we just say they are equal. All right, so that leads us into the form, which we will now begin to apply. All right, example one, find the area of sector y, x, z. y, x, z, that's this sector here. Got to figure out this area, this piece of the pie. Okay, so we have the measurement of arc AB, which is in this case, we're working with yz, so this arc measure is 120 degrees. So we have 120 over 360, which is the total degree measure going all the way around. And then we have the area of the sector. Well, that's what we're trying to figure out over the total area, which would be pi r squared. And what's r in this case? 6. All right, so let's simplify this now. This simplifies to 1 third. And then I have the area of the sector over 36 pi cross multiply, and I get 3 times a sub s is equal to 36 pi, and now I divide by 3, and the area of the sector is equal to 12 pi, in this case, meters. Done. All right, for part b, find the radius of circle E given the area of the sector DEF is 9 pi inches squared. Okay, so they already gave you the area of the sector. All right, so this arc measure here is 40 degrees, so this must be 40 degrees in here. All right, so now I need to figure out the radius. So the arc measure is 40 degrees over the total arc measure going all the way around. That's 360, and that's equal to the area of the sector, which once again they gave me 9 pi over pi r squared. And what's r in this case? Well, I don't know it. That's what I'm trying to figure out. 
Okay, well, let's simplify this here. Uh, we could simplify this to 1 ninth, and the pi's cancel out here. Okay, so be careful. Let's cross multiply now. We get r squared is equal to 9 times 9, which is 81. Take the square root of both sides. r is equal to 9. Done. All right, let's do a couple more examples to solidify our understanding of this concept. All right, find measurement of arc AB. Got to figure out what this measurement is here. Hmm. Measurement of arc AB. Well, what's the total measurement going all the way around? It's 360. And that's equal to, well, what's the area of this sector? That's what they give us here. That's 49 pi over the total area, which is pi r squared, r is 14. Okay, so now I'm gonna, let's see, what am I gonna do here? Okay, I'm gonna write measurement of arc AB over 360 is equal to 49 pi over 196 pi. All right, and pi's cancel out here. And what goes into both 49 and 196? Well, 7 goes into them, but also 49 goes into both of them. Once, four times. All right, you could have done that in two steps there, but I just chose to do it in one. So now I will cross multiply. So I get 4 times the measurement of arc AB. Throw a little M in there. And that's equal to 360 times 1. So 360. I divide by 4, and measurement of arc AB is equal to 90 degrees. Done. All right, for the next problem, find the area of circle E. Let's see. What am I going to use here? Well, they give me the measure of the arc, 60 degrees. So I have 60 over the total arc measure, 360. And that's equal to the area of the sector, which in this case is 24, over the total area. And that's what I'm trying to find. Okay, so what am I going to do here? I will simplify this fraction, 1 over 6, then I'm going to cross multiply, and I get pi r squared is equal to 6 times 24, which is 144. And what should we do next? We don't have to do anything next. We figured out the area. Pi r squared is the area of a circle, right? So we're done. Pi r squared equals 144. We'll put a equals 144, in this case, feet squared. Done. All right, example two, find the area of the shaded region. All right, the shaded region, what do we call this? It's a sector. All right, so using the same formula that we used before, we have 72 over 360. And that's equal to the area of the sector, call it a sub s, over pi r squared, pi 10 squared. So 72 goes into 72 once, 72 goes into 360 five times. So now I get cross multiply here. I get 5 a sub s is equal to 10 squared is 100, so 100 pi. And now I'll divide by 5. And a sub s is equal to 20 pi. All right, it's going to be units squared. Done. For the next problem, once again, I need to figure out the area of the sector. All right, so what's this arc measure here? 240. Put that over 360. And that's equal to, let's see, I'm trying to find the area of the sector over the total area which is pi 9 squared. So I have, what do I have here? Simplify this to 1, not 1, 2 thirds. Okay, I'll write this all out. 2 thirds is equal to a sub s over 81 pi. All right, now I will cross multiply. And I get 3 a sub s is equal to 162 pi. Then I divide by 3. And a sub s is equal to, all right, 3 goes into 162. How many times? 54 times. And I'm going to have pi left over. 
So there's the area of my sector, 54 pi. In this case, inches squared. All right, so this lesson is very similar to 10.4. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask. Begin the assignment.